Now I don't usually do mailbag videos, but this one arrived a couple of days ago and I thought this was interesting. It's clearly been posted internally, but behind here there is just enough of a sticker that I think it has come from China, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but inside we've got this uh, USB to double micro USB cable and uh, a flashlight but I haven't ordered a flashlight no I've double checked and I definitely haven't ordered a flashlight so what's going on here and it is a flashlight and uh, yeah it works three LEDs at the front a uh, interesting pattern there it doesn't seem to be a particularly good quality item but of course it does come with batteries and that's the bit I actually ordered so it looks like the Chinese sellers are sending these batteries in a flashlight because these are a lithium based product and uh, that usually has some extra restrictions on mailing and as you can see it's a USB charged 1.5 volt AA replacement claimed 1250 milliamp hour um, 5 volt charging 1.5 volt on the output um, is it in a metal case I think that might be metal so let's pop it on its side and check the voltage yeah 1.52 that's a nice healthy voltage on the output but what about that capacity well actually this flashlight's going to come in handy isn't it because if i put them both in there let's uh put the side back on i'm going to turn it on and just leave them to discharge and through the magic of youtube here's the discharge graph um the voltage started off at that 1.5 volts, it dropped a little bit to about 1.35 and maintained that voltage until uh, it cut off. I discharged at just 100 milliamps for the whole period of time. It lasted just over 12 hours at 100 milliamps, so that is 1,234 milliamp hours total capacity. Well, that's pretty good for a battery that claims to be 1,250. And what I forgot to mention on my last video was the milliwatt hours. Well, that's 1,646 milliwatt hours. And I did um, actually discharge the other battery as well. Uh, but on this one, I made a mistake and I forgot to tell my discharger to uh, turn off once the voltage went below 1 volt. So actually, it continued to monitor the battery for... Uh, 72 hours but the long and the short of that means that we can actually see that the uh, the circuitry does turn the dc to dc converter back on again occasionally when the lithium cell presumably gets up to a reasonable level again but this one eventually gave up the ghost at 1309 milliamp hours and that's 1595 milliwatt hours it's worth mentioning again though that these types of batteries aren't any good in those devices where you need to know when the battery is failing because this maintains a constant voltage through that DC to DC converter until eventually the MOSFET kicks in and it switches off entirely. Your device won't have a chance to tell you that the battery is coming to the end of its charge. Now this didn't occur to me originally with the OK cell uh, but of course these need to work in series and they've got a uh, book converter in these bringing the 3.7 volt nominal um, lithium cell down to 1.5 volts and does that mean you can put them in series? Well quite clearly with just over 3 volts on these two batteries in series yes you can. And just checking the noise there on the output of the uh, battery here. It's uh, at 22 hertz. It's showing uh, 64 millivolts peak to peak. So that's not too bad. So that's a very quick overview of the Zenta 
1250 milliamp power lithium based double-a battery and uh, I guess if you order now you may also be lucky enough to get yourself a free gift hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe down below comment if you can and I'll see you next time thanks for watching